So guys, once you're on the screen, you have no other choice but to forcefully shut down your computer. So just hold on the power button and then turn on the computer again. Hold on the power button for a few seconds and then turn your computer on again. And then you're gonna get this screen right here. This may take a while to load up, but you're just gonna to have to wait it out. Once that screen is loaded up, you're gonna be on the login screen. Just enter in your password and then head back into Windows. Now that we're logged into Windows again, you need to do some steps so that this will prevent it from happening again. So first we're gonna head over to search and type in CMD, then you wanna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Then you wanna type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. And click on enter. And then it's gonna do a scan. It might take a while, but just do it. Once that's loading up, you can just minimize it. And now for the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, click on other troubleshooters. And then you wanna click on the run box, which is on Windows update. So click on that and it will detect the problems. You wanna follow all the steps that may come up for you right here. Once the first scan in CMD has been completed, we're gonna head over to search again and type in CMD again, then click on run as administrator. And then click on yes. Once you're on it, type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run that scan as well. It's not showing for me because I had to cancel out the other one just to show you guys for this tutorial. But once you complete the first scan, type in that second command. Once you type in that second command and you complete that scan as well, you want to restart your computer. Make sure you click on restart, don't shut down, click on restart, then the problem should be fixed. 